Hi, welcome back to Headless Academy. On our today's topic, we'll be looking into profit. When we say profit, what do we mean? We, we mean uh, profit is again what, what, what you have whenever you buy something, whenever you just actually sell something. Now, this is a function that is given. You'll be like, there is a profit function that is given by, a total cost is given by 120 plus 25 q minus q square plus 0.4 q q. And then it places a, um, a, 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 a price of 240 minus um, 20 q. The question is, what is the profit function? The question is, what is what is the what is the profit function? What is the profit function? Good. Today I will show you um, some of the things that you need to know whenever you talk about profit function. When, what, what, when we say profit function, is, it means it's the same as the expression. It is the same as um, in terms of something. Good. So this means profit in terms of the quantity. So the profit function is you need to have the subject and have the variable. The subject A will be the main equation and the variable will, will be the one that is part of the equation. We will see that. First of all, we said we need to know what is profit. To find profit, we represent profit as a sign like this. Uh, as a sign like this, we say that is profit, we represent it as this. That is profit, the sign of profit. We say profit is what? Is total revenue minus total cost. Uh, do we know total revenue? No. Do we know total cost? Yes, there is a total cost equation here. But we don't know total revenue. Now to find total revenue, we can say total revenue is equal to uh, is equal to price times quantity. This is total revenue. We said uh, TR is equal to total revenue. TC is equal to total cost. P is known as price. Is price Q is quantity. Is quantity. Good. Now from the function, we say total revenue. We say total revenue is equal to price times quantity. Me. The P times the Q. What is the P? Do you know the P? Yes, the P is here. The P is 240 minus 20Q. So we said uh, is equal to 240 minus 20 Q. Multiply, multiply by what? Q. Because here the Q affect the entire equation. So you are going to put this in the bracket and divide by Q. It will be a crime if you don't put this in the bracket because in that circumstance that you will be like the Q only affects the 20. So putting this in the bracket means that this Q affects the entire price. But if you don't put it in the bracket, it means that it will only affect the last one, which will not be good um, um, for your equation as far as the profit is concerned. It will be always good. Now we, we multiply this 240 times Q, we have 240 Q. That is 240 Q, right? Minus 20 Q times Q, it will be 20 Q square. Q times Q is Q square. P times P, P square. It's like that, because there are two Qs. Now this one is your, is your total revenue. Good. From the other equation of profit, profit equals to total revenue minus total cost. Do you know total revenue? Yes, it's here. Therefore, this is your total revenue. Do you know total cost? Yes, it's here. So you have to link them together. We said profit is equal to total revenue minus total cost. Minus total cost. You see that? Good. So here we said this is profit. The sign of profit for you to know it. This sign is profit, you don't know it, but there is here. Profit is um, equal to total revenue minus total cost. What is the total revenue? Total revenue equals here. 240 Q is there. Minus 20 Q. Is it square? 20 Q square. Minus, because of this minus. Now, you are going to bring the total cost equation. Total cost is in an equation format. So, bring in an equation, you have to put everything in the bracket. But when it's only one, one digit number, then you don't need to put it in the bracket. But as an equation, you have to put it in the bracket. Is that okay? So you say bracket property. What is the equation? The equation is here 120, 120 plus 45Q. 120 plus 45Q minus Q square plus 0.4Q. 0.4 Q. Good. Now, the next thing we can do, 
the next thing we can do we can we can now expand our bracket because when you have an equation first expand the bracket you cannot solve this without expanding the bracket so we now we save here uh, the private function the total revenue cost um, is minus total cost we have the total revenue function is here uh, minus the total cost function we have to put the total cost in the bracket because it's a function here if we don't put it in the bracket it will um, it will not affect the entire thing actually the minus and will affect that the one will be then it will affect all this that's why we put it in the bracket now we need to expand the bracket by doing that we say we maintain the 240q minus the 20q square now here what, what we need to know is that the minus sign will hit on every figure in the bracket now here we say when you have minus and plus the sign is minus y if you see a boy and a girl going he will have bad perception but if you see a boy and a boy going he will have good perception if you see a girl and a girl going he will have still good perception but if you see a, a boy and a girl going then you have bad perception girl, girl and a boy bad perception boy and a girl bad perception that means in, in, in short whenever the signs are um, different it's a minus sign whenever the signs are the same it's a plus so the same thing will occur here and that's the way you treat signs as far as they are concerned please note that good now we go back to the question we said here we will have what by expanding this we said minus and plus is minus minus 120 minus and plus is minus we have minus 45q minus and minus because this minus is plus plus q squared minus and plus is minus 0.4q you get that? Good. Now, now from here we have this. The, the power of the Q is one. The power of the Q is two. The power here is a first one. Here is, is having a power one, power, power two, and, and a power three. You only add powers. The um, don't have the same powers. You only add numbers that have the same powers and make them one of the power. Good. This is two forty Q and what is two forty Q, which is here. This and what this is Q. You know this is constant known here. Is 240Q minus 45Q. What do you do? 240Q minus 45Q, you have what? 195Q. 240 minus 45 is 195 and maintain Q because it's Q. Right? Good. That is out. Minus 20Q square and what? Plus Q square. Here, the Q square is, uh, is having a, um, a base of 1. Any letter starting alone is having a base of 1. So here, it is like minus 20 plus 1. Is minus and plus subtract and maintain the sign to be bigger number. Minus 20 minus and uh, plus 1 here you have to subtract and it's 20 minus 1, which is 19. So you said 19, but which what the bigger sign is one. This is 20, this is 1. The bigger sign is here, so you said uh, minus 19 q square. Good. That is uh that is this one and this one. You get that? Now here we want, we want a constant. Do we have any uh, any pair of a constant? No. So we maintain that one directly. So we said minus 120. So we said minus 120 here. Yeah. We have that. And here we will come here. Here we also, we also don't have any pair. We maintain it with the minus sign. Minus 0 0.4 Q. Good. Now from that, you can arrange them. Here is, um, is the perfect function that you are needed. If you stop in as a here, it's okay. From here also you can arrange it. You see that. You start with the, um, the constant one, minus 120. I'm, I'm thinking the way they are directly. I'm not changing anything. Minus 120, I'm doing that. That is because it's a constant. From there, I go to power one, which is this is plus. Plus 195Q, which is one. I go to where minus 1 minus 90Q square minus 0.4Q. This is where you have your profit function. Therefore, your, your profit function is here. Your profit function of the profit is here. It's where the profit is because a solid formula in terms of the variables. So this is known as profit in terms of Q. It's known as the profit function. It's known as the expression of the profit. This is how easy um, you can find this. By finding the profit function, you just um, first need to know your total revenue and total cost. And if you know that, work them out. If you, if you reach here, you have uh, here, if you reach here, you do the, 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 you add the powers of the same one, the same power, and subtract the other same power. Apart from that, you just if, if you don't have anything that you want to add or subtract, and then there are different parts, you have to leave it like this. You don't add any of this now. This is where this is where we call this is your profit function. 
It's a profit version of this. It's known as uh, it's also known as as uh, the profit in terms of the Q. It's also known as the expression of the profit. This is how easy this is. Uh, that is all about profit that you will do. You can do more example on this, but as far as we are able to find the profit first of this, how you can do it in business math and all other courses. Um, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe uh, and also don't forget to hit on that notification bell so that whenever I post a simple video on topics like this, on other topics that are coming more, you will, easy, you will get easier to understand other topics. Please hit on the post notification bell to receive an alert whenever I post a new video. Thank you.